Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Who am I with? Fuck you. What about the Nya? He says you're gonna open all the videos with that. I'm like heartbroken now. Oh, I'm sorry. That like hurts. Give me the Nya. Just one Nya. I don't know what you're talking about. The thing you said every single opening, all these other videos. This is the first video. Maybe for them today, not for no, us. No, this is the first video. You are so fucking whack. No. So, free will. Yeah! Yes. Okay. <laughs> that reaction. Predestination and free will. Predestination. Okay. So, so oh, I ended the last video. This isn't the first one. I fucking lied. Uh, I ended the last video with saying stupid shit yeah, Christianity. Um, <clears throat> so, there are a couple of them. Alright, this one, this one, this is completely unrelated. This doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Oh, okay. Boy. Motherfucker. Jesus came down on earth. Gonna die for our sins. Mm. God, I, who is also himself, I don't want to die for my sins. Or for everyone else's sins. Is there any other way you can do this shit? God, being all-powerful, having the ability to go... Yeah, there is. Done. Said. Nope, you got that. Talk about free will. You actually just. I. He I, literally. I'm he gonna fix everything that. with. Done. Done skis. Satan dead. That's all it takes. That's it. <laughs> oh, God, there's gonna be a great war between you and Satan. All there is? Not anymore. Fuck you, Satan. Like, that's. That's all it, that's all it needs. It's, <laughs> I've never gotten that. You you actually listed, when I was debating whether I was a Calvinist or an Arminianist, Calvinist believes in predestination. Uh -huh. Arminianist believes in free will. Uh -huh. And the linchpin verses that convinced me of Arminianism was the Garden of Gethsemane. Hmm. God praying and saying, let this cup pass from me. But not my will, yours be done. And from the Why foundation of the will? world, from the foundation of the world, Jesus was counted as crucified. It's either first or second Peter that tells us that. From the fact and actually, and actually Peter himself in Acts chapter two says it was God's plan to nail his son to the cross, which you Jews sinfully did. <clears throat> so again, we have the we have the God man thing coming together and meshing together once again. The Word of God. I'm actually I'm going to pull it out for just a second. Christ, you've been done this so much. <laughs> the Word of God is the work of God and man. Each human life is the work of God and man, and human life itself, our salvation or damnation, is simultaneously the work of God and man. God is sovereign over all. And Jesus was predestined before the foundation of the world to die. But he still had to choose to abide by his word. And the people who crucified him were still held fully culpable for killing him in God's eyes. They weren't exempt, even though it was God's sovereign will. It's not either, either. Yeah, I know that, that dumb handle. It's not either, either. It's both. It's, it's just like, it's another coin, essentially. You need the head and the tail to make one complete side, or one complete coin, one complete picture. Yeah. All right, so, two things. I've already forgotten one of them. Beautiful! All right, so, the one that I haven't forgotten is, um, so, at that point, Jesus is saying, Jesus is man at this point. Mm -hmm. Sitting there. God in the flesh. Yeah. Let this cup pass from me. That's yeah. What it's, that's yeah. What it's. Could he <clears throat> have chosen? Eh, <throat> fuck this. And to, I'm gonna <clears throat> go have some wine. I, when Jesus prayed, Father, let this cup pass from me, I don't think he was saying that simply to set an example or simply saying it to prove a point. I think he was genuinely stressed to the point of sweating blood. He had to struggle to say yes. I believe that was a real decision. So could he have said no? He's, if he's God and can do anything, 
Yes. Well, can you do anything? Of course, at the same time. Can he? And can he I... heat up a burrito <laughs> too hot for him to eat? Well, no, uh, let's go ahead and hit this nail right on the head. Could God go against his own word? The God that's who was, never lies. That's what I was getting to. <laughs> and the answer is yes. That is the biggest contradiction I think I've ever heard in my life. That's like saying, I'm in this room, mm -hmm. but I'm also in the other room at the same time. Yeah. Literally makes no sense. And I guess that that's, I guess when you bring religion into it, that's kind of where it always ends up, to this doesn't make any fucking sense. And that leads to my point of agnosticism of, that makes sense, we're just too fucking stupid to get it. That... <laughs> Here, I do have a question though. Can God make a burrito too hot for him to eat? And he, he, let, I would say to break this down, we we humans can logically describe this phenomenon. There are words for this, and I'm gonna give yeah, give, contradiction. Give, that's a good one. You don't have to believe in either one. You're not obligated to at all. But there is but humans there have out figured out a way to describe this. One, it would be very easy for me to say God can't sin. So did Jesus have a choice in Gethsemane? The emotional anguish he was feeling was real, but would he have ever said no to us? Would he have denied his love for us? Would he have ever broken his word? And the answer to all, and the and could God ever lift a rock? Could God create a rock that's too heavy for too him heavy to for him to lift? Could he heat a burrito up too hot for him to eat? And the answer to all of the the answer one answer to that is that's a very basic logical fallacy misunderstanding God's omnipotence, all-powerful. If you're all-powerful, you have automatically eliminated the possibility of limits. So he could both make a burrito too hot and yet simultaneously be able to eat it, and it would just infinitely rise. You actually went into the second main point. Really? That was yeah. really weird the way you did that. Yeah, that's the actually the, the second point is... The first one was very logical based, and I said... God, my there's... sleep deprivation is fucking getting to me. I'm literally... I have been... Alright, you've been talking over here about all this theological stuff. You know what I've been talking about the last three minutes? Burritos. <laughs> you were still on point, though. About burritos. We just ate. I shouldn't even be hungry right now. You retained the thought process. You're doing good. Burritos are as good an analogy as anything. I still want a burrito. Not wrong with that at all. After after we finish hanging out, you can go get one. You do your Pokemon and go. I'm gonna Taco Bell on the way to freaking park. You can absolutely do that. I plan on it. But that would, yeah, um, the first point consists of just plain and simple logic. If he's omnipotent, that right there eliminates the possibility of him having a limit. If he is all knowing, that automatically eliminates the possibility of there being something out of his range, outside of his range of knowledge. If he is all good, that automatically eliminates him from even possibly doing evil. But you just alluded to the second potential answer. And that's the fact that God, who created logic, is not bound by logic. Logical fallacies don't apply to him. Logic itself doesn't apply to the God of the universe. So God could both create a burrito that was too hot for him to eat, and he could still eat it. Because he's fucking God, bitch. I can, I can eat some hot burritos. But that was a great way to wrap up a Christian point. But <laughs> oh, fucking god, bitch! But this is the best. That that is why I'm really happy I'm agnostic. Cause you literally, your answer was literally just, eh, your petty human logic doesn't apply to God. Well, then fuck this. Then how am I gonna do anything? How, how am I supposed to get through this world if my logic is just, like, this is everything. My logic's... Like, how am I supposed to live life? And now let me... <laughs> and now let me... Get, and now I boiled down a lot of those things. Now I'm going to give you the answer that you currently aren't accepting. I'm praying you will accept one day. Jesus Christ. And I'm not going to... And I'm also not going to try to hide or somehow get away from this argument. What you're missing... And the, the linchpin that ties all this stuff oh, together. I know what's coming. Let's, let's do this. The other F word, faith. You look like Steven Universe right now. Faith. 
that's the linchpin that ties it all together. We talking about faith today. That came up? Yeah. Well, that's because... I'm like in the middle of deterministic No, we thought. just ended determinism. Well, we're currently talking about is the fun shit. Ah. It literally, it's the last lesson. Its focal point is, does God exist? Yeah. Can't wait for this shit to be over. Mainly because... Alright, see, now... I never claimed to be an expert. He could say this shit a lot better than I am. He could also probably do it because he had more than three hours of sleep last night. Yeah. So. Not, and not focused on burritos exclusively. And not focused on burritos exclusively. He seems like a guy that likes burritos. He's one of those classical fucking hip, uh, philosophers. Dude looks like he just smokes pot all day. But it's... <laughs> Oh my it's, gosh. That's what, I, that's what philosophers do. They smoke pot all day? Yeah, have you ever talked to a philosopher? They're all potheads. Apparently I haven't. Like hippies, but a little bit smarter. They smell better. Well, that's a plus. Hippies smell better. I was going to say, smelling better is a huge, huge plus. Um, I honestly forgot what we were even talking about. Robbie. And I, the only thing that I want to say is burritos! I th that's literally the only thing that's on my mind right now. You got into the good stuff today. Does God exist? And yeah. you can't wait to get out. Yeah, oh yeah, because, alright, the thing is, normally we get, like I told you, we go, like, we, we talk about one side of things and we talk about the other. We're starting off with proving that God does exist. Mm -hmm. And then we're ending it with proving that God doesn't exist. So I want the shit that sticks with me. Being the thing. So. <laughs> Mainly just so I can come over here and bitch you out about stuff. But I'm enjoying this. That's the main goal. You're enjoying me rambling on about burritos? I am actually. So am I. I, I did I said this in a part of a video that was cut out earlier. I'm genuinely glad we've had so many episodes to just talk with each other. Cause I'm not gonna lie, after I a four part stuff. series of pure depression, I feel like we needed a little bit of God burritos. God burritos? Yeah. God's involved in this now? He's the one making the burritos. Are they so hot he can't eat them? He's so hot, they're too hot for us to eat them. I was like, if he can't eat them, what hope do we have? Just die. It's like that, those iron hands and those babies. <laughs> you made that into a joke. That was like a George Carlin moment right there. <laughs> yeah. Joke about literally anything. Literally burning babies alive. And, I <laughs> and we're both chuckling to that. Okay, so... The um, best! The subject of faith. I don't, like, I don't like the subject of faith that much. Because that's... It's so not ironclad. No, so not set in stone. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. Um, and it says, Bible says, if without faith it's impossible to please God. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I can scientifically explain everything. That I have a reason and an answer for everything. I can tell you what the Bible says... But none of it fits right. completely until you're willing to take the step and say, I believe. See, and that's not really good enough. Because I have evidences to believe the Bible's real and evidences to believe God's real. And those evidences take, are from the Bible. And I'm not a big fan of that. Because that... Not all. Not all. Because of the Bible. Even if they're not directly from the Bible, because of the Bible. That... Is a bit of circular logic. I believe that the Bible is right because of stuff that the Bible tells me. Well, then of course you are. <laughs> and I've already and I've said earlier, and I will say it again. I that's not why I believe the Bible is the word of God. I believe the Bible is the word of God based on archaeology, paleontology, based on history, based Which on I, this I find it very awkward that you're bringing up paleontology and shit when you're a young Earth creationist. Oh, do you want to dive into that? I find it very... You want to dive into that one? Very odd. There are things dated that are less than 4 billion years old. Or is it 6 billion right now? As far as back as, like, the universe's beginning. It was either 4 or 6 billion. I thought it was 7. I don't know. Oh, did it go up? It might have gone up again. I think it was 7. The universe keeps getting older. Well, I mean, that's, that's true no matter what. But... It is! I see what you did there. The universe is literally older now than it was when I said now. Like it, <laughs> it's older now than it was um, 0 0.05 nanoseconds ago. Exactly, when you started that sentence. But, 
I think we're up to seven billion. We're getting older too. Um, That's a thought. My birthday's next month. My birthday was last month. <sighs> I can getting drink. old. I can drink now. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> if I could just stay this age for the rest of my life, that'd be nice. Let me stay 21 for a while. No one's going to take your ability to drink away from you. I think I'm going to stay 21 until I'm 30. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. first thought is once you turn 30, I think you're going to want to turn the clock back even more. Than... I think I'm going to do one of those people. I'll stay 30 until I'm like 84. But, um... i got head and head of me. I can get old. I'm so how bad. old do you think the world is then? I would base, since I don't believe in evolution, I go simply based on the word of God there. So, so the what? world's somewhere between 10 and 6,000 years old. Do you believe that the Earth was created with age? That's the tricky part that I haven't heard any pastors really address. And just so I'm reading it directly out of here, this one I'm not going to paraphrase. This one I'm going to read right out. It's only two verses. Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We all know that one. Verse 2, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Where the fuck did these waters come from? What the fuck was there in the beginning? That leads to, I'm not sure if you've heard of the gap theory. Yeah, I'm, I am familiar with it. But the gap theory... Addressed, it makes some sense. The gap theory tries to stretch out the um, days and night periods into periods that are longer than 24 hours. I don't... Which is odd. Because, well, I don't know what to think. Because it says well, a day with the Lord is a thousand years. But that was speaking very allegorically, very symbolically. Was it? That ver Yes. In Second Peter, when he was said Was it? That, yes. Yes. Yeah, for goodness sake, I will take a minute or so here to was read Was it? it? Here, look into the camera and say it. You look into the camera and say it. Was it? Where is that verse? I want to say it's in Second Peter chapter. I was honestly just fucking with you. Now. You don't have to. You you can stop. No, here it is, verse eight. Yeah, you can, but beloved, do not you, forget this one thing: that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord, and then on to verse nine: the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So, question: then. Hmm. You said that you think the Earth is like what six, seven thousand years old. Ish, yes. What do you say about everything saying that that's a little older than that? Um, now, I, I want, before you answer that, I want to know if you're one of these Christians, because I've heard this shit before. Okay. Saying, and I quote, <coughs> Satan put the dinosaur bones in the ground to fool us into thinking that the world was over 6,000 years old. That is fucking hilarious. I've heard that, and no, I'm not one of those. Okay, good. Fuck those guys. No, I, I do not believe that. Satan is not stupid. Satan is not a creator of anything. That is fucking stupid. That is... Uh, I'm like, where do you... That's definitely not biblical. Where do you get that? <laughs> where do you get that? To read just one thing, though, let's, let's go to the end of the first day. Or actually, let's just continue into verse 3. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. The Hebrew word there for day is very, it's, it's the word for fucking day. From the period that the sun... Is it? I'm just kidding. Is it right? From the period that the sun, for, and for the Jewish days, when the sun went down, the day was over. And when the sun rose, the next day had begun. So, and, th and this whole thing right here. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Nah. It's, I mean, that's written just as a Jew or a Hebrew saying Racist. thing. Right? <laughs> I think your tiredness is catching up with you and you're like just falling into a permanent state of ADD. That's very bad. I've been fucking with this tripod for 20 minutes. I was, I was like, you have... This time you didn't put the tripod back and try to engage in conversation. It's like you've resorted and fallen into just an abyss of trolliness. 
I mean, that, that's kind of what's happened here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like hot, serious conversations kind of exited the building <laughs> at this point. You can't stop laughing. <laughs> 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 Okay. We're way too tired. Holy shit! This has been a colossal fuck. This has been. Episodes. This has been the best. The best. Absolute. Mm. We're gonna solve this world's problems, man. This episode, right here, right Holy now. Holy shit! That's gonna be really hard when we complete completely different things. It's gonna, right. It's gonna be a really difficult outcome to make, unless our solution is just stop being a dick to each other. I'd say we have accomplished that pretty damn well. What do you need, man? Okay. Public service announcement. Da da da. Stop killing each other. Hey! That's. that's Christian gives two thumbs up to that. Literally the worst way to handle anything. Oh, you don't believe in my God? Let me strap a TNT to my chest. Oh, God. Oh, you. Okay. You, you represent police officers. Let me sit on a building and snipe five of you. Uh, literally, the shit, like, where the fuck do you come up with this? As being the Man. solution to humanity. Man. I like how we went from free will to young earth creationism to burritos. Burritos actually came before young earth no, creationism. No, it doesn't. To stop killing each other. <laughs> Dude, I think what happened was your mind just went... I'm not convinced that either of our minds are really right right now. No, you were fine up until like five minutes ago, and then you just you disappeared into the void. 20. No, you were pretty good at the beginning of this episode. We're 20 minutes right now. Then about five minutes, and you, you've been handling that thing for a while, but five minutes ago, you just started like going, Woo! <laughs> you disengaged from conversation almost all together. <laughs> Did you want to keep pursuing the Young Earth creation thing? Yes, I do. You do want to pursue it, okay. Assuming I can remain here. Hopefully, I'm hoping. Hopefully. I'm tired, but I'm still here. I really want to have this conversation, and I'm really sad that you and me can't have it. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I was... No, no, if you want to, like, if you want to, like, poke holes in that, please feel free to do so. Okay. I want to learn stuff. Oh, uh, well. Let's take the Grand Canyon, for example. Okay. Grand Canyon. Uh, it's made up of limestone. At least part of this. Okay. Uh, we have figured a lot of shit out about limestone. One of which being that we can take apart the layers of limestone, look at microscopic organisms in the limestone, and by what that organism is, and our knowledge of when those organisms were in existence, you know, other things that we are sure of how old they are, um, we can use those limestone records. There are millions and millions of layers of limestone uh, in the Grand in the Grand Canyon. Millions. Um, there are millions. Each one containing a different generation of these little microscopic organisms. Um, now knowing how long the lifespan of those microorganisms are, being around. I'm trying to remember this with my half awake brain. Being around 20 years or so okay, was the average lifespan of these microorganisms. So if you take, if you add up all the layers of microorganisms and how long their average lifespan was, it would add up to fucking way over 6,000. Like it would okay. range in the millions. Okay. I would like to know how those got there. Now, an easy now uh, an answer that I hear a lot is the flood would cause a lot of that. Um, or there is the good old old Earth creationism of yes, the Earth is six thousand years old, but when God made the Earth six thousand years ago, He made it as if it had been around for millions of years. Why am I arguing for your side right now? Are you? I, you're trying to come back, and you're you're grasping. You're really trying. But uh, hey, you're, you're doing good, man. Yeah. Wow. Well, shut up. But that fuck, was complimentary. Fuck you. <laughs> you prick. Mm, but guilty. I would like to know how those got there. 
And, on, and since I am not an evolutionary biologist or even a normal biologist, I don't have an answer to that specific question. Yeah. I do not know. I can tell. Uh, that's fine. I don't even know. I was like, I could. I'll say, I'll, I can offer another story on kind of the creationist side. Go for it. Because you were speaking of the layers that that are out there. Yeah. And generally, the Earth is aged, and actually, and, and by extension, the universe itself is aged based on those layers. There, it there have been. There's been at least one major portion of Earth that was opened up to um, a paleontological dig. And in this in this particular dig, there were I don't know what they were, but the te- like Tesla dinosaurs planet, planted by Satan. No, I'm sorry. Something like that. Um, so, like like there's supposed to be layers. Like you know, the lower it is, the older it is, and you know, and the higher up it is, you know, the newer and the younger it is, and thus you're able to gauge like a range of years for whatever structure you're looking at. In this particular range, there were all these little critters that were around like millions of years ago. But the time- millions of years ago, what I thought was only six. Well, that's what the scientists said. You know, yeah. millions and maybe even hundreds of millions of years old, um, and different species, different types and ages. But the dating was all over the place in this supposed to be, you know, very structured strata where these guys usually dig and do their research. In this place, the organisms were fucking everywhere. Like they could, like. You know, up here we'd have something like 900 million years old. Here on the bottom, it'd be only like a thousand years old. And it wasn't necessarily like it wasn't like just flipped upside down. It was literally just mixed up everywhere so in this like, particular layer of Earth. Now that I would, man, why do I, I still don't understand why I'm arguing to your point? But that I would say could be caused by some cataclysmic event like a flood. Mm. For example. The Bible says that the water was erupting out... Why am I fucking arguing for you? The wa- the Bible says that water was erupting out of the ground. It, le- it could easily lead one to believe that if water was shooting up out of the ground, it like could push all the... geysers. Yeah, it could push stuff from the bottom close to the top as it's shooting out. And that could make... Uh, especially if it's all in water and it's all just solution around, that can mix it all up. Speaking of the flood, I've actually heard that on tops of mountains, sea creature like fossils have been found. Without a worldwide flood, that'd be kind of that's kind of hard to explain. And that's a complete switch of topics. If snakes used to have legs, mm-hmm. as it says in Genesis, who's to say that fish didn't have wings? Flew up to mountaintops. I feel like that point is almost not even worth addressing. I don't think your heart is in that one. (laughs) Prove to me that my... And I haven't been lying to you this whole time and my name is Ralph. Anyone can make an assertion. (laughs) You don't think I got my fake license, though. You, You never know. You sinner! I you, thought you were a man of God. He's fucking Satan. Surprise! No, you, not that you are Satan. You are fucking Satan. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> That's pretty much time for this episode. I wow. Cracked the case. We, we drove that train right into the ground there at the end. I need sleep. I thoroughly enjoyed this time. It was good. That was awesome, actually. No, nah, not gonna lie. The first four, where we're talking about homosexuality, that was some deep shit. Yeah. Deep ass shit. Um, maybe we could revisit these topics at some point. If we ever do, I don't know why I didn't think to do this. I have writings in my philosophy class on Blackboard. Okay. I can go in there and read the shit. But rather than do that, and give you information in a somewhat coherent form. I decided to ramble on about burritos. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you get when you come to YouTube for intelligent discussion. Hey, the first four were good. Thank you guys very much for watching this um, video. And if you stuck in there for the entire series, wow, that's really awesome. Watching two random guys just talk. 
No burritos. Bunch of shit. Talk about some really serious shit. Yeah, all right. Not that, just that shallow is, shit, but for some serious that shit. That is one thing well. I want to point out. Um, Thank you guys for having me in there. Yeah. I know that these last two have been rather goofy. Particularly with my increasing need for sleep. <laughs> because apparently I need more sleep than you do. Uh, so, these last two episodes have been rather goofy. But I kind of feel as though that was a necessity. I'm not going to lie. After we finished the, the first conversation about homosexuality, it, we got into some dark corners. Yeah. Talking about horrible, horrible life. I got kind of depressed. I needed this. I needed to talk about God burritos. <laughs> and I, I kind of felt the same way about this series. Like, after going through such a dark ditch of just how horrible people can be, we needed some lighthearted shit. And it started off with a, 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 re, a reasonably serious talk about free will. And it turned into just a clusterfuck. Of what the fuck? Of burritos and Satan fucking. That. You threw that part in at the end. I have no part in that whatsoever. I'm doing it. I am distancing myself from that as far as humanly possible. Just and no. while, while you post it on your YouTube channel. I'm still gonna post all of it on my YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching these videos, or at least this video, or at least tuning in to the end. Whatever you did. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and supporting us. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And if you really like to share with a friend who needs to think about some serious stuff or just needs to laugh at some goofy shit, subscribe and join the freaks! Love you. God bless.